All right. There's a crown stealer. Backing up, backing up. Yeah, see it jump the wall? It tried. Thankfully, they are weak, so if you've got people there, you're usually fine. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Kingdom Two Crowns. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Sudden music shift is sudden. For more videos like this. Last time, we completely cleared off Island 4, and we have returned to Island 3 to do the same thing. I also just missed an opportunity to upgrade the lighthouse, so let's do that and maybe see where that portal takes us. At the very least, faster than wa running home. Ideally, we're going to be wanting to spend as little uh, time as possible on each island, although we are going to have to winter somewhere before we hit um, Island 5 up. Oh, hello, village that hasn't been destroyed somehow. How's it going? Ah, uh, we don't need to upgrade this tower. We'll, uh, actually, I think we can just upgrade the center area and we'll get, um, steel for free. Also, how did the squires on that side go down? That's not even the side with the danger. Yeah. The uh, walls are getting upgraded for free, and it looks like the towers, too, interestingly enough. How is everybody doing? We have a catapult, but no catapult spot. Interesting how it kind of works on respawn like that. This island is very bare bones. Hi guys. Interesting. We could upgrade these towers, but we should never need them to be. You know what I mean? Like, there's only one threat to deal with, and the only time we will get a counterattack is if that threat is successful, but it's the last threat, so there will be no counterattack. And I think they can handle the nightly attack, however big it is. We do, however, need some swords. So we're going to have to expand somewhere. Probably don't need this village anymore. But the trader is right past that. And then another village. So if we wanted to expand, the left would be the spot to do it. Run, please. Thank you. That would compromise our defense. Although, like I say, again, the defense shouldn't matter. Wow, those got upgraded to um, the covered one for free. Pretty good. At the very least, we should make this deal. And yeah, I guess we'll build a tower here. Or not a tower, a wall. I know we could um, just build the bomb now and run in with four, well, two knights and two squires, actually. Because we have the knights we came with, don't we? Are they all literally on the right? They all literally stayed on the right, oh my god. Pain. Oh, yeah, no, please, I wish you could just, like, 
dump enough coins for a full line of upgrades and just let them go. Like, if I could put in the coins now for all the way up to steel, and they would just automatically begin the next project as soon as they complete the last one. It'd be dangerous if they're in a dangerous area, but if they're, like, inside your base and you just want, you know, a bakery there, you know, build all four levels of a tower and then build the bakery. Boom, here's all the coins you'll need. Like a Q. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. That'd be neat. Getting kind of full there. No, I don't want either of you. Go away. Go away. I very specifically don't want either of you. Otherwise, I have to build another wall layer. And I would prefer not doing that. It's getting kind of late. I don't think it'd be wise to get him working on the steel. Well, it did take him a while to get here. Ah! Let's do it. I believe. Are you a believer? I'm a believer. Oh, we already have the catapult. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully that pike spot and the catapult spot go away. Catapult one probably won't. Pike one might. If we're lucky. Come on, you're almost there. You're almost there. Archers haven't started firing yet. Beautiful! Good job. Even had enough time to upgrade it. Or fortify it, I guess. Get it sparkly. Okay, the pike spot did not go away, unfortunately. Yeah, and all the squire or knights went over here. Also, looks like we only got three, actually. Wait, why do we have five, six people here? And only three over here. Wow. All of my wow. All right, well, let's build on the right then, I guess. Have a single coin banker. Maybe we'll get a blacksmith here. If not, we'll have to. While well, tearing down the village, we do nothing because the citizen house will always remain there. Yo, builders, are literally all of you over there? All right. Hopefully we can get the blacksmith to spawn. I don't need farmers. I don't need... Pikemen. I need a blacksmith. addition of the citizen houses when you tear down um, villages but it does change the strategy to some degree 
before, if you needed that space for something else, you could tear it down and potentially have the building you want show up. But now, um, a village has an eternal presence. Nothing else can spawn there instead. That space is forever used. Which, I mean, hey, having the citizen house is nice, because you could absolutely screw yourself out of getting any further recruits, which could cripple you or straight up end your run. But does mean you have to be a bit more careful about tearing them down because there's less of a point in some cases. Alright, hopefully blacksmith spawns right here. Go check in the morning. For now, let's go keep an eye on these guys. And take their money, of course. That's a given. Take our money. Are you even coming, you little blighters? Yeah, they're coming. I can hear the archers. Wait. Ooh, you launched from pretty far back. Yeah, you got it, Ballista! It's not worth building Ballistas outside your walls, unfortunately. Partially because uh, I can only face one way. Can't turn. Partially because there's no cover, so your ooh winter time. So your person could be taken down. Really, nothing spawned. Oh, well, screw me! I guess. Damn. And um, just not defended. Damn! I thought for sure something would spawn here. That normally it does in that space. This means that we'll be attacking Island 3 in the dead of winter, it looks like, which is, should be fine. Island 3 was pretty damn secure, but still. Alright, maybe if we build the bomb, our actual knights will come running over. No banker, I didn't, I didn't want cash, but thank you. really prefer it if you guys went like a lot <sighs> pain pain fine I hope we can withstand this blood moon I just realized. Should hopefully be okay. Maybe we'll pop a few flaming barrels. Just in case. can't move any further or our squires will be exposed. They do only have one little fleshy bit to clear in the great dimension and then it's just getting the hell out of there so they should hopefully be okay. If I see a crown stealer I gotta run backwards it's just how it be. Come on, hurry up. I know, doggo. 
They should be here any minute. They should start hearing those thwip thwip of the archers. Speaking of which, those archers are very exposed to the flyers. I should have upgraded those, but I didn't expect the Blood Moon quite so quickly. Alright. There's a Crown Stealer. Backing up, backing up. Yeah, see it jumped the wall? It tried. Thankfully they are weak, so if you've got people there, you're usually fine. Flaming barrels were definitely a good choice. Alright, let's go! Yeah, we lost those archers, unfortunately. Now, we are safe from attacks for today, but this island is soon going to be safe from attacks every day. Oh, hi. I'm sorry, guys. I can't save you. There is literally nothing I could do. If the archers made it here in time, they could free you, but I can't. I'm sorry. I have no way of doing anything. And any mounts you have with offensive capabilities only target the ground. Come on, team, you coming? If you hurry, we can make it before the nightly attack. Yes, sir. There you are. Let's go. if you guys are going to be able to take in a, a, the full force of a night attack. So, please hurry. We're almost there. Very tense. It could literally come out any second. Even while we're standing there preparing to go in. Thank you. Go, 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 go. Yeah, baby. I know you guys are just squires, but don't worry. You got this. You got this. worry about it. See what I say. Now we just gotta plant this sucker and bolt! Hey, yeah, yeah, come on, let's keep going. It's a good thing none of them ever have masks inside here. I tell you what, Bobby. Are we good? 
We're good. Later, bitch! I don't stick around long enough to watch, but you can see the, the like, cauldron of green juice there just kind of erupt upwards. We only lost, like, one or two people there. Nice. On Island 1, we were there a total of 25 days. Greed killed 774. Reigns 1, coins spent 913. Sessions played 15. I think it counts every time we move to a new island as a new session as well. As well as saving next thing. Archers hired 88. Farmers hired 4. Knights hired 18. Workers hired 21. Pikemen hired 0. See, I don't know if this is like of all time on this island because some of the numbers always seem a little off. Anyways, that is Island 1 cleared as well. And I know we ran a little late to get that finale for the island, but I think it's worth it. Thank you to everyone for joining me. I hope you had fun, and I will see you all next time where we continue our onslaught into Islands 2 and 3. Later!